Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to know when to contact your specific person. So this is a question that I get from people who are manifesting their specific person. They want to know, how do I know when it's time to reach out and be in contact with my specific person? Do Will I know, what do I do about that if I'm not in contact with them? That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Before I jump in, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel in the corner or below. Also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. I have 13 courses down there. I do have a course called How to Be Missed, Contacted, and Pursued by your specific person. It's linked down in the specific person section, so you could check it out. And the last thing I'll say is I do a weekly giveaway for a bundle of three ebooks that I wrote. The way to enter into the contest is to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, and to comment below. I give away three ebooks to three people every week. Okay, so let's talk about this. How to know when to contact your specific person. There's actually a very easy thing that you can do to see if you're in the space where Maybe it's time to reach out to them, or maybe it's not. And this is how to know. This is really important. You feel like you're not trying to get something from them. So let's talk about this. If your desire to reach out to your specific person and to contact them is coming from a place, and we have to be really honest with ourselves, and it's okay if we make mistakes. Sometimes we can trick ourselves into thinking we're not trying to get something from them, and then it turns out we were trying to get something from them. So let's talk about what this means. Oftentimes, when people feel the urge to reach out to a specific person, they're in the state of being of, wanting something from that specific person. So they're either wanting contact, they're wanting to feel that person, they're wanting to feel them close, they're wanting to know that that person's thinking about them or wants them or likes them. They're wanting something. There's an experience of wanting, either wanting something from the experience or wanting something from your specific person in general. This would not be the time to reach out. And the reason is simple. When we are wanting something, what, what state are we in? We're in the state of lack. We're in the state of grasping. We're in the state of um, not having, okay? It's okay if you do end up reaching out to them in that state, it's fine. Like it's, we can do anything, nothing's ever lost. You can't ruin your manifestation. I did a video about that, I'll link it up there if you wanna watch it afterwards. But we don't, ideally, ideally in, in life, honestly, in life. And, you know, of course in manifestation, but it also just in life, ideally we don't want to be making our movements from the experience of lack. And the reason is lack perpetuates more lack. It's okay. It's okay that that happens, but that is what manifesting is. If you're in a state of lacking them, feeling like you're missing them, feeling like they're far away, moving towards them to try to get rid of that feeling of lack is not the best way to get the, rid of the feeling of lack. This is why we move towards our specific people, by the way. This is why we do it. We're trying. What you're really trying to do, I, I get that it feels like you want to be in contact with them. Of course you want that ultimately. I really get that. But when we're moving towards someone from a more desperate state of being, what we're trying to do is not feel that anymore. You're trying to not feel like you're missing them anymore. Okay. I think I did a video on how to stop missing someone. If I did, I will link it up there so you can watch it. It's a little different than how to make them miss you, how to stop missing someone. So if you're in the experience of lack and you're what, how it's going to appear is you're wanting something from the experience. It might even specifically feel like you're wanting to not feel a particular way anymore. That's why you're reaching out. This is where I, I would advise not reaching out in this state. And instead, what I would do is I, was, I would go into self-love practices. I would also go into practices of imagining them reaching out to you coming towards you, 
pursuing you. I'll link my video. And then again, I have the course down there that teaches how to be contacted, missed and pursued. I would go into your inner state in your inner world to take care of that state that you're in that's missing them and wanting to get something from them. And I would use your imagination to mold and shape that inner state into feeling a new way. Feel like, okay, they're here. Okay, they're coming towards me. Okay, like I'm okay. I'm wanted. I'm loved. The more you consistently stabilize your inner state into the place of I'm wanted, I'm loved, I'm desired, then you're going to naturally attract that type of treatment to you from a specific person, from all people. That's, that's how this works. And so when to contact them, I already went over when not to contact them when you're trying to get something from the situation. And usually this is going to look like you're trying to not feel a particular way anymore. So when to contact them is when you feel calm, confident, natural, like it's all good. It's no problem. You can contact them. You cannot contact them. You're good either way. That's the best time to contact them. If that's really true, Trust me, they're going to feel really attracted to you because that's how it works. If you know that like you can reach out to them or not, if you live in that level of confidence, you're highly attractive. Okay. So the time to reach out to them is, in, is when you're not in the state of really needing to. You can, you don't have to. It's all good either way. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me in this video. I love being here with you. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like the video and you comment below. I'll see you soon. Bye.